A new mom who was driving for Lyft is recovering tonight after a passenger shot her during an attempted robbery. Well, today she sat down with News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen, a frightening crime. How's she doing, Alexander? She has two gunshot wounds, but is thankful to be alive after watching her life flash before her eyes. On Friday around 11 in the evening, Jeannie Felsted says her Lyft passenger put her in a chokehold. Well, um, when you put the gun to my head, I tried not to overreact. In a fight or flight situation, she decided to fight and she sprayed the gunman with pepper spray. And at the same time, I turned around, he started to shoot. Um, he started to shoot and I was still spraying and got him in the eyes and he shot me. While I was, since I was turned, it sh went through the driver's seat and it went through my arm and came out and then he shot me again somehow in my leg. I, he must have jumped out and was, tried to aim it towards me or something. The gunman ran away near D.B. Todd Jr. Boulevard in Knoll Street. And I took off down the road, pressed on the gas, and was laying on my horn, asking people for help. During the chaos, all she could think about was her son, Oliver, and fiance, Matthew. My little baby. I just had him, and I haven't had that much time with him yet. I didn't want that to be the end of it. I've only spent short three months with him. Couldn't leave him. Police believe the gunman was trying to rob Jeannie. An investigator told her the Lyft rider was using a stolen phone. I was just shocked. To add insult to injury, over the weekend, Jeannie went to the impound lot to retrieve her belongings, and some of it was gone. My bank card and my, my cash was stolen. As detectives chase leads, Jeannie hopes the gunman will be taken off the street soon. He, I mean, he has a gun. You don't know what he's going to do next. I don't want him to harm anyone else. Jeannie rented her car through a Lyft program, so now she's trying to find a new way to help provide for her family. If you would like to help her during this difficult time, she has a GoFundMe page that's posted to our website. Vicki?